In this video, I'll be going over how to access and customize Canva's t-shirt design templates to create your own custom t-shirt designs. On Canva, you can access thousands of t-shirt design templates that you can customize and use. These are professional pre-made designs that already include text and graphics that you can change and edit however you like. This makes it easy for anyone to create professional t-shirt designs even with no prior experience. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to access and customize the t-shirt design templates. So to access the t-shirt design templates from the Canva homepage, let's start by going up to the search bar up top here. From here, go ahead and type in t-shirt. From the drop down menu, you should see an option that says t-shirt with the t-shirt icon beside it. Let's click that now. This will take you to a page where you can view all the t-shirt design templates that are available on Canva. If you look here, you can see there are currently over 13,000 templates available and even more are being added each month. If you scroll through the design templates, you'll see they have templates for any type of design that you may be creating. Each design will feature text and or graphics and can be fully customized any way that you like. They have some free templates available, but to unlock all the templates, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. With so many templates available, it can be hard to find exactly what you're looking for. So let's go back up to the top here and go over how to filter our results. If we look at the filters toolbar here, we can view several filters that we can use to sort our results. Under style, we can sort the templates by several categories such as illustration, tech, corporate designs, and more. If we click the theme filter, we can see all sorts of themes that we can filter our results by. This includes things like business, art, holidays, and more. And at the very top here, you can also browse several popular categories that you can sort the t-shirt designs by. Feel free to select a category or filter your results if you like. But for this example, I'm just going to browse all the templates and see what I can find. As you can see, the design templates come in all sorts of styles and designs and each template is fully customizable. Feel free to browse the templates until you find the one that you want to use. But for this example, I think I'm just going to go with this one. When you select a template, it'll open up a window where you can view the template details. If everything looks good, go ahead and click the customize this template button. This should open up the design template in the Canva editor. Here's where you can fully customize any of the elements on your template. To make things a bit easier to see, let's use the slider bar at the bottom here to make the template a bit bigger. There we go. If you look at the menu on the right here, you can see that you have the ability to print t-shirts directly on Canva, but we'll be going over this a little bit later. So now that I've selected a t-shirt design template, let's go over how to customize it to turn it into my own design. When customizing t-shirt design templates, the first thing I like to do is update the text. So go ahead and select the text on your template and change it to whatever you want it to say. For the three text elements on my template, I'm going to change it to you just got served. And there we go. So now that I've changed what my text says, next let's change how my text looks. Whenever you select a text element, you'll notice the text toolbar appear at the top of the page here. Here's where you can change your text font, the size of your text, colors, the format, add effects, and other options. So to change my font, let's click the drop down menu here. Here's where you can access hundreds of fonts that are available in the Canva library. And they have pretty much any font that you would need, whether you need something that's simple and elegant or something that's bold and stands out. Feel free to try out different fonts and see which one works best for your design. Whenever you select the font, you'll see it update on your template. For my text element, I think I'm going to go with this font here. So now that I've selected the font that I want to use for my first text element, Let's go ahead and go through the same process to select the fonts for the other two text elements as well. Simply select your text and use the drop down menu at the top toolbar to select a new font. For some designs, you may want to use the same font for each text element, but for my design, I'm going to use different fonts. And this will depend on your personal preference, your style, and the design that you're creating. I think that'll work. Whenever you change the text, graphics, or other elements on your template, you may have to resize or rearrange things a bit. To move an element, simply select it and drag it to the correct location. So I've updated my font. Now let's go over how to change my text color. When I select a text element, the text toolbar should appear at the top. To change the color of my selected text, let's click the text color icon here. This will open up a menu where you can select any color that you like for your selected text. When you select a new color, it should instantly be updated on your template. For this example, I think I'll just go with this color here. When creating your t-shirt design, you may want to change the background color so you can see how it looks on different color shirts. 
To do this, let's select the background, then click the color icon at the top menu. You can then select any color that you like to use for your background so you can see how your design looks. So for my text, I've changed the font and updated the colors. So now let's see what else we can do. If you're looking for ways to help your text stand out even more, you can select to add various effects that are available on Canva. If you select a text element, then go to the text toolbar at the top. You should see a tab that says effects. If you click this, it'll open up a menu where you can view all the various effects that you can add to your text. They have several really cool effect styles available, including the shadow effect, which I use a lot, the lift effect, a hollow effect, the splice, an outline, the echo, the glitch, a neon effect, and an effect where you can add a background color to your text. Feel free to try out and use one of the effects if you like, but for this example, I think I'm going to keep it simple and not use an effect for my text. If we take a look at my template here, you'll notice that two of my text elements are curved. If you wanted to add a curve to your text, you could easily do this by going to the effects tab and going down to the bottom of the menu. Here's where you'll see the shape section where you can add or remove a curve from your text. To add a curve to a text element, simply click the curve button here. You'll then see a slider bar appear underneath where you can adjust the amount of your curve. Simply move the slider to the left to curve your text more up or to the right to curve it more down. I think I'm just gonna go with this. So we've gone over several ways to customize your template text. Now let's go over how to update the graphics. We're gonna be sticking with the same style as the template, but let's start by selecting and deleting the default graphics. In order to create a good t-shirt design, you'll need to have some good graphics. Luckily, we can access thousands of graphics in the Canva library. To access the Canva library, let's look at the menu on the left hand side here and click the Elements tab. This will open up a menu where you can browse through all the shapes, graphics, photos, videos, and other elements in the Canva library. To find graphics to use for my t-shirt design, let's go up to the search bar up top here. From here, simply type in the type of graphic that you're looking for. For my design, let's start by searching for tennis. From the results, you'll see all the graphics, photos, videos, and other elements that are related to the keyword you searched for. Since we're only looking for graphics to use for our t-shirt design, let's select the graphics tab at the top here. Now my results should only show all the graphics related to the keyword tennis. If we scroll through the results here, you can see they have all sorts of different graphics that you can use for your design. They have a lot of free graphics, but to access all the graphics in the Canva library, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So to replace the graphics that were at the top of my template, I think I'm going to go with this tennis ball here. When you click one of the graphics, it should then be automatically added to your template. You can then resize your graphic by dragging the corner and rearrange your graphic by clicking it and dragging it to your desired location. I'm simply replacing the graphics that were originally on the template. So let's put this first graphic on the right hand side of my top text. And there we go. And if I select the graphic and click the duplicate icon in the menu here, I can make an exact copy of the graphic and move it to the left side of my text. When adjusting your elements, you can use the guidelines on the template to make sure everything is aligned. So for my t-shirt design template, I've replaced the top two graphics. Now let's replace the main graphic. For my main graphic, let's go back to the elements library and get a little bit more specific by searching for tennis racket. Now all of my results should only show graphics that are related to the search term of tennis racket. Feel free to take your time and browse through all the graphics to find the perfect one for your design. When you find a graphic you want to use, click it to add it to your template, then resize and rearrange it as needed. And with your graphic selected, you can also use the round icon at the bottom here to rotate your graphic if you like. This will help you get your graphic in the exact position that you need for your design. So I like the tennis racket for my main graphic, but I think we can add a little bit more. So let's go back to the elements tab here, and this time, let's search for tennis ball. All of my results should now only show graphics that are related to the keyword of tennis ball. Take your time and browse through the results and find the perfect graphic to use for your t-shirt design. Once you find a graphic that you want to use, simply click it to add it to your template. When you select many of the graphics that are available on Canva, you'll notice a graphics toolbar appear at the top. This will allow you to edit the graphic in several ways, including flipping the graphic, changing its position, and for some of the graphics, even changing the colors. Feel free to edit your graphic if needed, and once you're finished, you can then resize and rearrange it on your template. There we go. Now I think this looks like a pretty cool tennis t-shirt design. 
Feel free to add more text, graphics, or make any other adjustments if needed. But once you're finished, you have several options that you can use to add your t-shirt design to a t-shirt. If you're using a t-shirt design template, you should see a button up top here that says print with Canva. If you click this, it'll open up a menu where you can view your design on t-shirt mockups and have Canva print and ship t-shirts to you as well. If we click to enlarge the mockups here, we can get a larger image of our design on several t-shirt mockups. Feel free to browse through the mockups and make sure your design turned out the way you wanted it to. For my tennis design, I think it turned out pretty good. If you wanted to order your design on t-shirts directly from Canva, you can use the same menu on the left to select a shirt color, the sizes you want, and the amount of shirts. You can get one shirt for 20 bucks, or if you get more shirts, you can actually get discounts. Once you select your options, simply click the continue button, enter your payment details, and once you place your order, Canva will ship your t-shirts directly to you. But if you want to print your t-shirts using a different service, or you're a print-on-demand seller that wants to add your design to your online store, you can simply download your design to your device to upload wherever you like. To download my design, let's look up at the top right of the page and click the share button. This will open up a menu with several share options. Let's look down at the tabs here and click the download tab. Here's where you can select your download settings. From the file type drop-down menu, make sure you have PNG selected. This will allow you to export your image with a transparent background to add to t-shirts. With PNG selected, you should see the option here to export your image with a transparent background. This will remove the colored square behind your design and allow you to upload your design to t-shirts without any background color. Also, for t-shirts, I like to adjust the size of my design using the slider bar here to about 3500 by 4500 pixels. This will ensure the pixel size is big enough to have a crisp and clear image on my t-shirt. But keep in mind, in order to adjust your design size and download your design with a transparent background, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So once you've adjusted your download settings, go ahead and select the pages that you want to download, then click the download button at the bottom. And after a few seconds, your new t-shirt design will be downloaded to your computer. You can now print your design on t-shirts using another service, upload your design as a new product in your print-on-demand store, or use your design however else you like. So now let's go over one more example of how to create t-shirt designs using Canva's t-shirt design templates. I'm just going to click the icon at the top right here to add a new page to my project. There we go. So first, let's go over how to access the design templates directly from the Canva editor. From the menu on the left hand side, let's click the design icon at the top. This will open up a menu where you can view all the t-shirt design templates available on Canva. If you have a specific design or style that you're looking for, you could narrow your results by using the search bar at the top. For this example, I want to create a photography design, so let's type in photography in the search bar. Now all of my search results should only show t-shirt design templates related to the keyword of photography. As you can see, no matter what topic you type in, Canva will likely have tons of t-shirt design templates that you can use. But keep in mind, to access most of the design templates, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So to create my t-shirt design, I think I'm going to go with this t-shirt design template here. When you select a template, it should automatically be added to the preview on the right. Here's what we can edit and fully customize the template however we want. First, let's select all the elements and make the design a bit bigger to fill in more of the template. That's a bit better. So when editing design templates, the first thing I like to do is change the text. So let's go ahead and select each text element and type in whatever we want them to say. For my first two text elements here, I'm going to type in, let's do some shots. Whenever you make changes to your design template, you may have to resize and rearrange things a bit. This can easily be done by dragging the corners of the element. For my top text here, let's drag and make it a bit bigger to make the sides even with the bottom text. So I've changed my main text. Now let's update the subheading down here in the square graphic. Let's say I'm creating a marketing t-shirt for my photography business, and I'm just going to put my website down here. I can then make it a bit bigger and move it over to the center. So now that I've changed what the text says, the next thing I like to do is change the font. So let's select the text element, then use the drop down menu from the toolbar up top to select a new font. Feel free to browse through the fonts and select the perfect fonts to use for each text element in your design. So I finished updating my template text. Now let's update the graphic. If I wanted to use this graphic, I could select it to change the graphic color and make other edits. 
But for this example, let's delete the graphic and see if we can find something better. So to find a new graphic to use for my t-shirt design, let's look at the menu on the left hand side here and click the Elements tab. Here's where we can search tons of different graphics in the Canva library. Since I'm creating a photography t-shirt design, I think I'll search for camera. To view only the graphics, let's select the Graphics tab. Now I can browse through the results and see all the graphics on Canva related to the keyword of camera. Whatever you type in, you'll likely find hundreds of images, so feel free to take your time and find the best graphic. For this design example, I think I'll just go with this graphic here. When you select the graphic, it'll automatically be added to your template. We currently can't see my graphic because it's the same color as my background, so let's select it and change the color by going to the color icon in the top toolbar. When selecting colors for your graphics or your text, make sure it's colors that complement your design and will be easily visible on the color t-shirt that you decide to upload to. I'm just going to keep things simple and go with white. So in a matter of minutes, I've completely customized this template by updating the text and the graphic. If you like, feel free to continue updating your design by adding more text, more graphics, changing colors, adding effects, or even by rearranging things on your template a bit. This is your t-shirt design, so make sure you get everything exactly the way you want it. Once you're finished, you can use the print with Canva button at the top here to check out your design on various mockups. And if you like what you see, you can order t-shirts directly from Canva or click the share button at the top right to download your design and print it with another service, print it yourself, or add it to your online store to sell as a print on demand product. So that's a quick overview of how to create t-shirt designs using Canva's t-shirt design templates. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to check out the full Canva t-shirt design for beginners tutorial, which you can view by clicking the video on the screen here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.